Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragonvale World and to our fields and fields of tree dragons. Just look at all of those pumper melons and zazberries that they have for us today. Marigold, wonderful job. Please keep an eye on all the grain and uh, bitter dragons. By the way, you guys, somebody actually sent me a picture in my fan mail email of having made a bitter dragon pumpkin for Halloween. And I thought that was just the most amazing thing ever. I I love our bitter dragons. I really think they are so much cooler than I originally gave them credit for. And they're just so awesome looking. And look at their mouths. That is the perfect mouth to try to make something. I mean, look at that. <laughs> The perfect mouth to try to make something Halloween-y uh, out of. I totally would have like made a big open mouth. I mean, just look at that. Look at that cackling. Marigold, you look so frightening and yet you are so friendly. If I had a extra carving pumpkin that we hadn't already given to our squirrels to have fun with on our back deck, I definitely would have like opened up the mouth and stuck a whole bunch of small gourds in there and called them pumper melons because that would have been so cute. But thank you so much to the person who sent me that picture. I thought that was absolutely adorable and I'm so glad you're enjoying our Dragon Veil vale world adventures. Holy cow, our dragons have a lot of coins for us to collect. Uh, I've been a little bit busy because this is also the month where many of my family members actually have their birthdays. So I have actually been dashing around with like half a dozen birthdays in the last few days. Uh, so I haven't been able to pop in and check in on our dragons, which is so sad because you guys, it's the time of the dragon spirits and we have some eggs to hatch today. Oh boy, things are about to get a little bit more exciting over here. All right, enough rambling about birthdays and let's go ahead and put on our wizard hats and get to work, my friends. Clearly, there's a lot of dragon cash that we need to collect up first, so let's go ahead and get that over with. Wonderful job, everyone, wonderful job. I see that all of you pretty much have maxed out your dragon caves. Definitely should have remembered to come and check on you guys sooner, sorry for that. We've got the Zazberries harvested. We have checked in on Marigold. Let's just take a quick peek at the airship. I neglected it for a while because I know some of you guys find it boring, but as we learned painfully, we are low on many of our alchemy ingredients that we need for potions. So never again will I neglect to come and just make sure that we can send off the ones that we can. Okay, so we need three fairy dew and four of the rainbow cauldrons. And then I'm pretty sure, is our elfin dragon grown up? Our elfin dragon just needs to go up one level and I'm pretty sure Bridget, our fire dragon, needs to go up two levels. Okay, we might have enough food for that, but first let's send out Raitai, our cavern dragon, to gather up some of that fairy dew from who knows where. And let's send out one of our rainbow dragons to go and collect some cauldrons full of rainbows. I still think that would be so cool to see. Ah, oh, just imagine that. Like, palette here, it just picks up three golden cauldrons of like two in each front paw and flies off into the clouds, setting off so that he can gather up four cauldrons full of rainbows, which I think would be so beautiful. That's gonna be 12 hours and he'll be back in time. Uh, do you have some push ingredients? Thank you, I needed that mushroom desperately, random citizen. Highly appreciated. And then we need to send off Raitai into Silver Falls Gorge. How cool would it be to, wait, not Silver Falls Gorge. All right, well, nobody needs to be here. So Happy, if you could please gather a few of these for us, thank you. Um, where on earth, there's the fairy dew. So the fairy dew is in the Zephyrlands and we need three of them. Okay, Raitai should be back before then. I just have to make sure I come back later tonight. And we are now totally out of fire sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Terra, our mantle dragon, just gather as much fire sand as she's got levels. There we go. All right, all of the official duty is done. Congratulations, my friends. You're definitely learning something from our wonderful Dragon University. Uh, let me look over just to make sure I'm not forgetting something. Whoops, I'm forgetting a whole part of my park. Oh, and somebody gathered up some mushrooms for us. Thank you guys. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of things to clear out. Oh, my EXP potion. Oh, there's a few things we could actually use that on. And I think I could actually reactivate it. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and reactivate the EXP potion. Let's go ahead and reactivate it. 
It's a lot of gemstones, but it costs a ridiculous amount of potion ingredients to make. And then we're going to remove the mantis rarity remedy because we already have mini mantises, mini mantises who we haven't yet hatched. And speaking of hatching, we're gonna decide if we're going to make a hatch tincture or a breed elixir before the end of the day because now that all of that has calmed down, we can come back to the fact that there's kind of a ton of spirit dragons to the end. <laughs> They're so cool. They're even cooler looking at them now than they were before. And I want to try to get maybe at least one of each of the unique spirit types. And who knows if we can actually get, I of all of the like spirit n versions of the normal dragons, I really, 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 really want to try to get the enchanted spirit Rami dragon. And that's going to be kind of tricky. So whew, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. We have two eggs waiting to come out and we have four eggs waiting to hatch and they present a little bit of a dilemma for us, my friends. They do because we actually have one spirit egg to hatch. We have one enchanted Labria to hatch. We have one enchanted mantis to hatch and we have one normal mantis dragon to hatch. And I already have a normal mantis dragon egg and I already have a normal mantis dragon, Shimmer, who is really beautiful. So let's begin with the normal mantis egg. Okay, it's worth 700 gemstones or a million coins or we could have another mantis dragon but we can't upgrade our echo area so what i think we're gonna do is we are going to very painfully because this is a little hard take beautiful minerva here and adopt her out to somebody for 700 gemstone pieces because that will put us much closer to possibly getting the ghostly enchanted spirit rami dragon that i really want so minerva i hope you have a wonderful home that was really hard to do but it did put us up over the edge for another wonderful uh crystal now here's a hard one though what are we gonna do with our very last enchanted labria Doth, oh, dang it. You, like, I don't know. That's a five star dragon. And I feel like that would be a waste as an egg. We already have two enchanted Labrias. So I don't need more enchanted Labrias. I don't need another one. Do you know how hard it is to feed these guys? But at the same time, having an enchanted Labria might be a good idea because then they bring in so much money. Out of all of the dragons out there, the enchanted like the enchanted Zodia dragons bring in the most money. So let's take a look at Ogma really quickly. See, Ogma is bringing in almost 7,000 coins an hour. That really just beats all of our other dragons completely. Like uh, over here, like Koi, our enchanted Koi dragon, 3,000 coins an hour. And then if I jump down and I look at like another type of rare dragon, like the petroglyph dragon, for instance, Papyrus is almost the same level. And look at that, she's only bringing in two, th she's a rare dragon and she's only bringing in about 2,000 coins an hour. 7,000 coins an hour, one level lower is amazing so i think we're gonna keep the labria and we're gonna say that they represent the wealth the wealth and the riches of our kingdom because clearly they're amazing so little one you're gonna have to go ahead and go into the hibernation chamber you were a surprise i wasn't planning on getting you but now that we have you we're gonna keep you and now we have two eggs to hatch a spirit dragon egg and a enchanted mantis dragon egg uh, I'm kind of feeling like hatching the spirit dragon eggs because it is kind of the time of the spirits. So we're going to do that in just a minute here, but let's go ahead and collect the eggs we have first. So our enchanted thermal and our Rami dragon, what have you given us? They've given us a normal egg. Interesting. And then over here we have our cinder dragon and our underbrush dragon. What have you given us? They've given us... A mantle dragon egg, which we actually haven't seen for quite some time. Okay, so there's the pickle, kind of, uh, of trying to figure out what we want to try to breed for. I really want to try to target that enchanted spirit Rami. I really want that enchanted spirit Rami dragon very, very, very badly. Uh, and I think 
The best way to get it is like the thermal dragon and the Rami dragon still. So, you know what? You know what? We're going to try that, that pairing again with a crystal. And we're going to see if we have any luck with that. Um, and we'll do that after this pairing because now I'm a little nervous. So with this pairing, what we are trying to breed amongst the spirit dragons. I really should make it more spirit dragon-y if I want to ever see this happen. Um, oh, we're trying to breed that guy with our thermal and our Rami dragon too, which would be cool. Now, I really love this Zonkos dragon. So I would love to see that one with our enchanted underbrush and our cinder. Our cinder, we have not leveled up yet, so we might want to look into doing that soon. Are we going to get the dragon I'm looking for? No! We just got no more room for eggs. Ah, we got a, a, a silly flytrap dragon egg there. So we'll have to clear that egg out of the way. Um, there's just so much to do. So much to do. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and we're going to hatch the star of the show today. <sighs> Mantis dragon, spirit dragon. All right, let's hatch the spirit dragon egg. And I believe this is... <gasps> the underbrush! A beautiful underbrush dragon. You look so awesome. Our spirit underbrush dragon is coming to join our spirit Rami dragon. And the underbrush dragons look so cool. So let's go ahead and actually come on in and level you up, little one. Because, man, once they get to the higher levels, they are just so ridiculously cute. Oh, that's right. And as we feed them, we get a bonus. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Okay, we're gonna really work on getting that experience in just a second. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and level you up to the next level, little one. Look at you, you're so cute. One last little look at how adorable you are. That is some really cool spirit power and next level. Ah, that's awesome! Look at how cool our underbrush dragon looks when it is actually a spirit underbrush dragon. That is amazing! The coloring, the style, it's really, really fascinating. The eyes! Oh, lick your eye again, buddy. Lick your eye again, please. That was the best. I really want to see you lick your eye again. Yes! <laughs> Wasn't that cool? <laughs> look at that tongue! <laughs> All right, yeah, I love the underbrush dragon, so I'm actually very tickled to have a, a spirit underbrush dragon. That makes me very happy. All right, so there we go. I, I was kind of dragging out hatching some of the eggs. Let's just get this flytrap dragon. Onward you go, little one. I feel badly. I love flytraps, uh, the plant, so I feel a little badly that the flytrap dragons were always just like, ah, but you guys get why. All right, and so what to do next? Well, let's go ahead and get some experience upgrading. Ta-da! This exhibit, it looks awesome, and now it has room for another fairy dragon. Let's clear out these areas really quickly. Oof, a lot of landscaping expert, and we just churned through quite a bit of experience. Oh, wow, I even set this thing to be cleared. Let's get even more experience. There's the tail of that... that Crystal dragon, I swear that's hiding down there. That's so cool. One day we're gonna see what's going on over there. Uh, clear this large rock archway. Ugh, I did it, but it's not gonna be done in time. And that totally like made me poorer than I wanted to be. But uh, there we go, we got a bunch of experience from that. And let's see if we can get a big boost of experience and earn a bit more money by coming and feeding our Labria dragon. Boom, 86,000. And now we have a fully, look at her, we have a fully evolved Lavria dragon. What a day. Okay, that was just because I wanted to use our experience. Um, all right, so oh, the moment of truth, my friends. So now that I have kind of like been a little silly running around doing so many tasks, let's finish the day up today by trying to see if we can actually manage to get one of the ah, another flytrap dragon egg ah, okay let's try again uh i may need to level up our cinder dragon i'm beginning to think that little cinder isn't a high enough level oh 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 they're thinking about it seriously seriously another one another one no 
what is okay that's it we're gonna have to level up cinder let's at least get cinder to the next level because this is just ridiculous and we're gonna wait on this mantis dragon egg i i don't like it when we hatch a lot of different types of dragons in the same day because i feel like it, it you know that's like your birthday and it really suck if you had to share your birthday with like 12 other people and and nobody really like focused on you Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're having no luck with this dragon whatsoever. I'm just gonna just off you go off you go little one. Yeah, we're having no luck whatsoever with trying to get this dragon. So I think we do need to level up the cinder dragon. We'll go ahead and do that next time. This will be our last egg with them right now. There's just so much to do. We're actually gonna have daily drag another fly trap dragon. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, but we're gonna have daily dragon veil for just a bit because we've got all of these spirit dragons and we have so much going on. And now let's see if we're going to be lucky enough to manage to snag with both of them being at level 20, the enchanted Rami spirit dragon. That would be so hard. I don't think there's any way you can guarantee getting spirit dragons. It's completely by chance. I could be wrong, but right now it's completely by chance to me. So this is like completely just a gamble. Oh my gosh. Did you just give me a fly trap? Get, clear the nest, clear this nest. Oh, Rage Goose Siri is like right here. Is that what I think it is? Wait, I have one of you, don't I? I have one of you. Okay, the wildfire dragon is actually really cool, but we do have one. You're gonna be a beautiful egg now because I'm gonna move you over here so I don't have to think about having just wasted that, that crystal. And we're gonna try again. And this time it's totally going to give us something really, really like unique. Come on, really unique. We've got this. Go, go, go. All right, I've already gone on too long. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you. Okay, six hours, whatever it is. I have no idea what that's going to be, but we'll find out next time. Let's rush this just to get those two. Uh, okay, think not fly traps. That's all I'm asking of this group right now. Not fly traps, not fly traps. Cinder dragon will... <sighs> All right, this is gonna be trickier than I thought. So let's come into the Boost Brewery. Last thing that we're going to do today is actually make a hatch tincture with my, my precious, beautiful, <laughs> my mushroom. I really don't have very many of those mushrooms anymore, but we're gonna make a max level hatch tincture and We may be back sooner than normal because we're gonna see if we can really speed things along and get as many of those spirit dragons as possible So wish me luck guys. Thank you so much If you could please toss me maybe one of these beautiful flowers Oh, in fact next time we'll decorate around the spirit habitat just a little bit I don't think we're gonna leave it here forever, but I think this is a good spot just for now but next time we will decorate around the spirit habitat so if you could toss me a flower by leaving a lovely like that would mean so much to me if you could let me know what kind of luck you're having with the spirit dragons and what you think about our, our beautiful spirit underbrush dragon who looks so cool i would really appreciate it and then um if you guys would like do please consider enrolling in our dragon university by joining us and subscribing and that would be amazing too and now i need to just calm down and think lucky egg thoughts and i We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.